Hello, my cosmic loves. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, thank you so much for joining. I'm so glad that the universe led you to watch this video. Please make sure to subscribe, like this video, and turn on the notification bell so you can get notifications when I post new content. Today, I want to go over three tips on how affirmations can actually work for you. Do affirmations actually work? This is a question that I often get um, from people that are new to manifestation, from people that have never heard of affirmations, or maybe just simply people that honestly have tried it and they may have made a few mistakes without realizing it, didn't get any results. And because of that, they gave up. So number one, repetition. I have been repeating affirmations for about, what year are we in? 2021, about, I started in about 2016, 2015, 2016, right before I had my first spiritual awakening. And I'm not gonna lie, at first it was one of those things where it's like, does this actually work? I wouldn't do it consistently. I would just write out affirmations when I wanted something. And it's almost like, that entitlement where we feel like, well, I asked for it, I did it, right? So why is my manifestation not coming true? So when I actually experienced my manifestations come into fruition was when I was actually repeating these affirmations daily, when it was part of my daily routine. It wasn't just off on a whim or I had a bad day and I'm gonna do affirmations. No, that's not how it works. Repetition is so important. The reason being is because most of the thoughts that are in our head are negative thoughts. And an average person has about 12,000 to 60,000 thoughts a day. Um, of those, 80% are negative and 95% are just repetitive thoughts. This is according to the National Science Foundation. And I 100% believe this because growing up, most of the thoughts in my head were negative, whether negative towards myself, negative towards life in general. And I expected things to happen, bad things to happen. And because of my thought pattern, this actually became a reality. My internal reality was creating my external reality. And I didn't know that until I was like, 24, 25, when I realized, oh my goodness, I've been living in my head. All the thoughts in my head have been negative, either focused on the past or focused on the future. And this is why I am where I am. And my life was a mess at the time. So when you're first getting started with affirmations, it's going to feel silly. You're going to wonder why, and if you should even continue. But when you're repeating affirmations, what you're actually doing is you're creating new neuro thought patterns in your brain. There's a whole science concept behind affirmations. Joe Dispenza, he talks a lot about how we're actually making new uh, neuro connections in the brain, like rewiring. So the brain actually has the capability of being molded and it's just absolutely fascinating. So I would recommend checking him out just to go over more of like the scientific part of it because I'm not the best to explain that, but I will say that I have been able to apply that to my life and see how it actually does work. So over time, these negative thoughts in your mind are going to shift from an automatic negative to an automatic positive because you are constantly repeating positive, um, healing, uh, whatever kind of affirmations that you're repeating, of course, based off of what you're trying to manifest. And what we think on the inside, like I said, truly does reflect our external reality. And in my experience, you should be repeating affirmations daily, if not many times throughout the day. The reason being is because when you're first getting started, you are so, your mind is so programmed to automatically be this way. When you're introducing a new concept, you may experience resistance. You may experience um, a little bit of, yeah, I mean, resistance. Resistance is the best word. You're going to experience resistance. So that's something that you just have to accept. But you have to know that this resistance is because it's something new. Think about when you're starting a habit, for example. I think they say it takes 21 days um, to, to actually create a habit. So it's the same thing. You cannot expect for you to just repeat affirmations once or twice a week and all of a sudden it's gonna become automatic to you. No, think of it how you're training your mind. You are retraining your brain. And our mind is truly so powerful that when we train it, when we rewire these thought patterns into positive, we will see our external 
change. The second thing that is super, super important in making affirmations work for you, and in my personal experience, I have tested this and it has worked is taking aligned action. Now, many say just take action, take intense action, right? Not going to lie. My first, the first, like the last four and a half, five years of my life have been taking action to an extent where it was probably a little too much. Obviously, I'm sure how many of you can relate with the whole hustle and grind paradigm that we are shifting out of. However, action is very important. So I like to now use the term aligned action. What is aligned action? So if I want to manifest, well, actually let's go back to a real example. So when I started my job um, five years ago in sales, I knew that my goal was to make six figures. What I began to do is I repeated affirmations every day, multiple times throughout the day. It was something that I just had to retrain my mind. I knew that I was shifting from poverty, scarcity mindset to abundance. So I knew it was gonna take work. Um, and the action was in sales, it's all numbers. So at that time it was phone sales. So I knew that if I wanted to make six figures, I was already repeating the affirmation. So my mind was already set on, we're gonna make six figures. Now I need to take action. So this action was for me to make at least a hundred calls a day to convert one to three sales from that. Uh, well, of course, in the first sales job that I had, it was only for a few months. It was not a, it was a startup that company went under. I think I made like $3,000 in like four months. It was absolutely terrible. But what I did get from that experience was I already knew that it was just a matter of time. So I was gonna keep repeating it. I was committed, I was dedicated, I was persistent. I knew that I had this desire and my mind was so set and convinced that it would happen because I felt it, I would see it happen. This is where a lot of people make the mistake of not taking action. And I think a lot of that just has to do with, yes, now we are moving into the paradigm of the divine feminine, which the divine feminine is all about flow. It's about releasing, it's about surrendering, it's about allowing and receiving, right? But there is still aligned action in the in this new paradigm it's not it's more about taking aligned action rather than just doing things for the heck of it like oh well i said i want to make six figures so i'm going to force myself to work today or i'm going to force myself to work seven days a week because that's my goal and forcing just isn't my thing anymore it's not my style so i'm just not going to force anything at this point in my life um but yeah this is what i see a lot a lot of what i see online i see a lot of people talking about affirmations which is absolutely amazing but without taking action, remember we are co-creating with the universe. So if we're expecting for the universe to deliver, we have to show the universe that we are actually, this is really what we want and that we're willing to take the action to, you know, make it a reality. So when you're taking aligned action, you're letting the universe know that the actions that you're taking are aligned with your manifestation. Now, how do you know if something actually is in alignment with your manifestation? Well, a few things. So one is that you can feel it. For example, today I was like, I don't really want to record a video talking about this. I sat down, I meditated with myself. I asked my higher self, what do I need to know today? And what my higher self told me is it's both. I can do both. I do have to take aligned action by recording these kinds of videos. Why? Because a big part of my channel is going to be affirmations. So if I want to become a full-time YouTube creator, then I need to take aligned action to do that. And part of that is educating my audience, connecting with you guys, giving you actionable tips that you can actually apply to your life so that your manifestations can come true. That is aligned action because the end result of recording this video and putting it online is that it's going to get me closer to becoming a full-time YouTube creator because obviously I want to produce quality content for you when you're doing something new you're going to face resistance you're going to be a little bit uncomfortable but again it all comes down to why are you doing this what are you trying to manifest and how committed and really how devoted that's something that i'm trying to apply more how devoted are you to making this a reality whatever your manifestation may be so there are different ways of just knowing if something's in alignment. Something not being in alignment with what you're trying to manifest could be you just feel 
you're forcing it, right? So there's a difference between being uncomfortable, even though you know that the end result is going to get you closer to what you want versus the other side of that is you're forcing yourself to do something. You're miserable while you're doing it and you're just like, ugh, is this almost over? Which is not how I feel right now at all because I know that somebody out there needs to hear this message and I know it's gonna get me closer to my manifestation of becoming a full-time YouTube creator. And the last thing, number three, repeat your affirmations with emotion. So again, kind of just what I just said right now. If I just said, I'm beautiful, I'm a full-time YouTube creator. No, like you could just tell the dullness in my voice. You want to say things with passion. And a lot of this just comes with practice. Another thing that I do too is I uh, repeat things in the mirror. So a big, big, big part of affirmations and how you can actually make them work is the emotion that you put behind it. Okay, so speaking affirmations without any real intention behind them it's just wasted energy. Um, Paramahansa Yogananda says that words saturated with sincerity, conviction, faith, and intuition are like highly explosive vibration bombs. I love that. Scientific healing affirmations. This is like, this is a life guide. It's absolutely beautiful. It's incredible. Highly recommend it. Um, but yes, yeah, so if you are just getting started with affirmations, the words that you speak may feel like you're lying to yourself. But that is only because oftentimes, again, our mind is programmed with doubts and insecurities, whether that's from your negative self-talk, someone else projecting their stuff onto you as a child, you were told that you were you know, ugly or dumb or you're never gonna make it, all, all these things, those are the thoughts that are programmed in my mind. So we need to reprogram our subconscious mind. And the way that we do that is we do it with emotion because when we feel emotion, the body, chemistry actually changes and that is one of the most important things because if you feel it you physically feel it when i look at myself and i say i'm beautiful i love myself i am a full-time youtube creator i actually feel the genuine self-love that i have for myself and i feel the warmth in my body and that is going to allow us to reprogram our mind at a much faster rate behind these doubts as well i do want to say is that the subconscious and even the super conscious mind already believe and know that you are worthy of your desires we are reprogramming our mind bringing it back to its natural state source when we come into this life already filled with all of the answers before we're programmed before trauma happens to us we already know at our core at a soul level that we are worthy of all of our desires so now we're just bringing back that emotion that is going to allow us to begin to believe these thoughts because at first you may not believe them and it's going to be harder to believe them if you're not speaking with conviction with authority i'm not religious i don't i don't belong to any religious organization however i do not judge if you are or anybody i have family members that are still religious and that's fine but for me religion just didn't resonate um and I grew up Catholic, but the reason why it didn't resonate with me is because I felt like I was asking for things. When I was praying, I was asking for things. And it's almost like I'm putting those answers and my manifestations, my dreams, my goals in the hands of someone else to determine if I'm worthy of that or not. The reason why I love affirmations and, and part of why I really decided to just go deep within myself to find the answers is because I already know that I'm worthy of everything that I wanna manifest and you are worthy of everything that you want to manifest. So affirmations, it's different than a prayer because you are declaring what you are manifesting. You are declaring what you are, who you wanna be, what you wanna do, who you wanna attract. You are declaring to the universe the external reality that you are going to create by repeating to your internal world, your internal reality, which is the thought, the thoughts, the mind, the brain, you are declaring, you are declaring, you're not asking for these things. You are declaring that. And so it is. That's why you say, so it is, so be it, because these things are already 
confirmed. They're already written in our DNA. If you desire something, you have to hold on to that desire because these desires don't come to you just randomly. We desire these things because they are written in our DNA. So when you speak your affirmations to the universe, this creates a vibration behind it. So think about it. Our words carry a certain frequency. So high frequency words with passion, desire, love, confidence, conviction, low frequency, sad, angry, worried, skeptical, you get it. So when your affirmations vibrate at a higher frequency, then it's going to be faster and more potent for you. These affirmations are going to reach your subconscious and your super conscious mind a lot faster. And again, what really helps with this is just looking in the mirror when you're repeating affirmations. It can be a little bit uncomfortable at first, but if you don't believe what you're saying, then you can't really expect anybody else to believe what you're saying, especially the universe, because again, you're co-creating. This is not just you alone. The universe is co-creating with you. Um, one important thing though, I do want to note when it comes to repeating affirmations and repeating them with emotion is that if you're repeating affirmations to heal the physical self, it is going to be a lot challenging because your mind says one thing, but your body actually says another. And you may actually be sad, you may be in pain, you may be angry, upset, worried, whatever you may be because you're actually in physical pain. So for example, I, I had this experience many times, um, but the one time that I wanna bring up today was two years ago, I was in the hospital I had an appendix infection or it was inflamed what, and then it turned into an infection. Um, I actually had been ignoring it for weeks and when the pain finally did lead me to the hospital, my mind was trying so hard to speak positive affirmations um, of healing, but physically it was so hard because I felt so sick and I was just in so much pain. I was put on medication and it was like, I was trying so hard to speak these um, you know, affirmations, but my body was like, no, the opposite. Even when I couldn't fully speak them with the, the desire and conviction that I would like to, I still did it and I wrote them down daily and I repeated them in my head too. I mean, at the end of the day, again, it goes back to you can't force things. I'm not forcing things, so I just allowed myself to be. I gave myself a lot of love, but deep down I knew that I would get better. I knew that that desire of getting better would lead my body to get better. So I, can't say I didn't have any doubts that creeped in, um, but deep down in my subconscious, I knew I would get better. This wasn't the first time that I healed myself of illness with affirmation, so I knew that it was just gonna take time. And I didn't put a timeline on it, I, because the reality is our bodies, just like anything really, not just our bodies, but divine timing is on our side. So who are we to really put a a, a timeline on our dreams or on our goals, our manifestations. And oftentimes this is why people give up because you repeat it for a month, your manifestation doesn't come true and you're gonna give up. And typically, and, and you do give up. And typically that's right, right when you gave up, your manifestation was about to come true. Every day I wrote down and repeated out loud uh, affirmations of health. It took about four to six months, I don't remember, of this repetition backed by a sincere desire to be healthy and my body finally caught on. My mind and my body were finally in harmony and I easily could have given up, um, but I didn't. So this was just another example of how as long as you have that desire and you do your best in everything that you do, but especially with affirmations, and yes, you may have weeks where you fall off and you don't repeat affirmations, go back and do them. And those are my three tips for making affirmations work for you. Let me know in the comments where you need help with affirmations. Did any of these three tips resonate? How can you begin to apply this to your affirmations? I would also love to know what are you currently manifesting? Because I want to create more affirmations that will help you bring your manifestations into physical reality. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the notification bell to receive more notifications when I drop new content. Until next time, please remember that the universe always has your back. Bye.